Trento. In Greece, there's a town, not surprisingly, called Olympia. Yes. Surprise! The, <laughs> it is the original place of the Olympics. Yeah. The Olympic Games. Yeah. It, it is obviously a ruin now, <laughs> but uh, it was really cool. It's not close to Athens, so um, you kind of have to want to go there. <clears throat> but you should want to go there because it was yeah. really great. It was really well laid out. Very nice. This um, has uh, an arch entryway onto the arena. <clears throat> you know, the long oval, which has not been entirely put back together, but certain one side of it for a hundred yards was. You could tell it was a track. <clears throat> for track and field. For track and field. So yeah, great. of course. Yeah. They had um, columns put up where the original gymnasium was. And these are, you know, uh, normal, normal sized columns that would support a building. And then one of the temples had the largest columns I've seen anywhere. I mean, massive columns. Um, and some of them were laying on their side. And, I mean, I can't imagine how much they weighed, but if you've seen columns, fallen down, you see them, they're in sections. Mm -hmm. It's not like they carve one column. They carve sections and, and uh, match them perfectly and put them up. <clears throat> These had fallen over. I guess some German archaeologists got a grant to put one of these back together ten years ago. So one of them is standing and all, all the others are laying on the side. But that was really outstanding yeah. to see that. It's a pretty big site. Yes. We spent a good solid portion of our day there yeah we it was it was raining we were we put on our rain gear and i expected to walk in there to no people and there were a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people wearing ponchos wearing rain gear and but you know we kind of walked into the site uh, we walked through the downtown underneath the little uh so right, there's the actual city of Olympia. Yes, of course. It's yeah. not. I went. Well, city might be an exaggeration. Yes. It's a town. Um, yeah. It's small. Yeah, but uh, they are they are built for tourists. We walked under the, um, what do you call them? Arch. No, the shades through town. Yeah. <laughs> So we were out of the rain kind of walking through most of town mm -hmm. until we got to the last couple hundred yards and then we're in the rain and we buy our tickets and we walk in and the awnings. sun comes out. Awnings, thank you. Sun comes out for our entire, got three, four hours inside. Yeah. No rain. Beautiful. I mean, the, you know, sun was out at times, clouds were... Um, dramatic. Dramatic, yeah, thank got you. Got really great photos there. Yeah. And probably in the last five minutes where we're starting to, we, there's a museum there. We wanted to go see the museum too because a lot of the, you know, special artifacts, obviously they move into a museum and you hear the thunder and, and like, oh man. And we were 30 feet away from the museum entrance and it started coming down. Yeah. <coughs> so ev really everyone down. was running for the museum and it just started pouring like crazy. <laughs> So yeah, we, yeah, we spent a half hour, hour in the museum, I don't know. Perfect. It yeah, was the perfect, it was perfect amount of time. Yeah. And then as we were leaving, we are like, okay, let's, you know, you got to run 100 yards till you get to the downtown where you can get under the awnings. We were going to have lunch. And uh, as we started walking out, eh, the rain stops. <laughs> <laughs> so, we like we, that. Yeah, we get in town and, uh, yeah, had a great meal. I, oh. I don't know what it is about Greek food. It's very fresh. Mmm, so good. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about Greek salads anymore, but I do, I like the food in Greece. So you're not a foodie. I am not. I'm more of a foodie than you are, and I'm only like very limited foodie. Like I know there are things that I really like, and yeah. I like them when they're done well, but I don't go for that. I'm not traveling to eat food. So if you're talking about the food in the place, you must have really liked it. I did really like it. I was once told that I enjoyed Kraft macaroni and cheese as much as I enjoyed a filet mignon. Mm. And I couldn't argue with them too much at the time. <laughs> so I think my taste have changed a little bit. I prefer the filet mignon now, but <clears throat> I'm not a foodie. Yeah. So the, when I say I like Greek salads in Greece, they're just, 
uh, amazing. Just, you know, the cheese, the tomatoes, everything they put mm -hmm. in there is fantastic. It's really so, fresh and yeah. really nice. So I just lied to them. I said I wasn't going to talk about it. But anyway. There you do. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. We forgive you. Yeah. I thought that we had just a really great experience there. We, we got to the hotel and our uh, hotelier was a mature lady. She was quite cranky and just great she gave us a yeah. dvd to watch about the right the history the olympic museum it was kind of the video that accompanies the olympic museum she gave us this dvd and she said you could take a nap now <laughs> yeah because i woke her up when we arrived even though That's it was right. the middle of the day i said that somewhere else i said that in sparty but i was wrong it didn't happen in sparty it happened here yeah, yeah. she was she was fantastic yeah. and but cranky yeah. and that <laughs> just was, like i like my hotel years <laughs> right. an hour-long video i mean it was very detailed yeah. we talked about you know they had a building that was the treasury and uh you know building for people if you're having difficulty with someone i mean you know you know the politics oh yeah and the best thing olympia like no invading force enters olympia ever like that was that was kind of the agreed upon um, reason for it to exist. This is for the Olympics. You send your, you know, top, athlete. top athletes here to train and they are 100% safe. You know, no weapons enter the site. So the history is really fantastic. Right. It's sort of uh, beautiful. Yeah. It's just designed for this one specific purpose, regardless of your political belief system, regardless if your countries are warring, yeah. if you have an athlete and they want to participate, as long as you keep it uh, non-warfare-y, yeah. they can compete as yeah. long as they're there with that knowledge they're competing as an athlete in peace. Yeah. So that was really interesting. And the, you know, everyone's like, oh, the Olympics have been going on for 2,000 years, and that's not quite true. It was suspended and You'll have to look up the times, or maybe I'll write it down here, for a period of... A long time. Yeah, a couple hundred, four hundred years. But other than that, prior to that and after that, the Olympics have been going. Sorry, I'm hitting your... Uh, My phone. Your phone. <clears throat> it's okay. So, anyway, go see Olympia. I really enjoyed the two weeks driving around the uh, Peloponnese Peninsula. I know I'm not saying You say it, right. it different every time I like I it. Well, it's P E L O N O P E S E. Peloponnese. I think that's I right. think that's correct. So <laughs> I had to spell it several times, so I'm learning to pronounce it correctly. I really enjoyed the time. I mean even just driving through farmland, you're yeah. you know, you're seeing um, you know, a herd of goats crossing the road or something. It's it's, it's fun, just, exciting. It's, it is, yeah. Yeah. And and uh, so much to see. I mean, we could have easily spent another two weeks or a month there. Oh, uh, yeah. I would say that would be easy to do. Yeah. I would. I, I think of all the time that we spent in Greece, I enjoyed the islands very much. And, of course, it's very rich. The culture there is very... Um, it's, there's just a lot of history. There's a lot of opportunity to learn a lot. Yeah. But I think the peninsula was my favorite of all of that because we were driving. We had a lot more. We weren't tied to any schedules right. like bus or ferry schedules. We were winging it, yeah. And that yeah, was yeah. quite nice. Uh, we still had tremendous experiences with the scenery oh, yeah. and the people and the food. All of it was fantastic. And I, I would go back to Olympia. And oh, I would yeah, definitely absolutely. recommend, like, I would make that a, a, something I would do purposefully, not, it, I happen to be here, so I'm going to go ahead and see this. I would plan for seeing yes. it again. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Fred. Okay, thanks, Al. <laughs>